Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this my smart problem involving roots? From here, let's equate this to a letter x. So we have square root of 4 plus root 63 over 2, then plus square root of 4 minus root 63 over 2. Let's be equal to x from here. Then it means that uh, when we sum this x of 4 should be a positive number from there. Then to solve, let's take the square on both sides. We square both sides. Then the square on this side follows a plus b square, which is going to give us a square plus b square plus 2ab. Then when we apply this here, it means this square, that is root 4 plus root 63 over 2 square, then plus root 4 minus root 63 over 2 square as well, then plus 2 times root plus root 63 over 2 then times also we have root 4 minus root 63 over 2 then equals to x square from here then when we simplify here this square we cancel this square root this we give 4 plus root 63 over 2 then plus also square cancel square root we also have 4 minus root 63 over 2 then plus here since they multiply we can bring it under one root and this will be 2 root 4 plus root 63 over 2 then times 4 minus root 63 over 2 then which is equals to x square from here then when we simplify again plus root 63 over 2 minus root 63 over 2 cancel out then 4 plus 4 that's 8 so we have 8 plus 2 root from here, we have something in form of a perfect square, that is, we have 4 square now, then minus root 63 over 2 all square. It's like we have a conjugate square there, which is equal to x square here. Then, in the next step, we have... 8 plus 2 root here 4 square we give us 16 then minus square we cancel square root we have 63 over 2 left which is equals to x square when we simplify what is in the root here this gives us 8 plus 2 root here will be 64 minus 63 over 2 then, please, there is a mistake here. Of course, this 63 is the one carrying root here. Then we have only 2 there. So, when this square affects this number, it will cancel root 63. I mean, it will cancel square root, we have 63. Then 2 square, this will be 4, of course. So, that makes this one to be, you know, over 4 from here. At least when we bring this together, we have 64 minus 3 over 4, which is equal to x squared from here. Then here, we have 8 plus 2 root, this one will be 1 over 4, which is equal to x squared. Of course, square root of 1 is t1, square root of 4 is 2, so we have 8 plus 2 times 1 over 2. Is then equal to x squared. 2 cancel 2, we are left with 1. So that's 8 plus 1, which is 9. 
So we can say x squared now equals to 9. Then by the time we you know find the square root on both sides, square we cancel square root, we are left with x, which is equals to here. We are interested in the positive value, which is x equals to 3. So it implies that uh, the value of this particular expression is simply 3. So thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos. Turn the notification bell on. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up. Put your comment. See you next class. And bye for now.